All right, greetings YouTube. This is the Capricorn reading for August the 1st through the 15th. We're doing the 1st through the 15th, then the 16th through the end of the month. Uh, Bi-weekly, bi-monthly readings now, not weekly. So y'all can tune in uh, a couple of times a month for your weekly signs that I'm doing bi-weekly or bi-monthly instead of weekly. Uh, this is for your rising sign, moon, Venus, Jupiter, Cuspers, cross watchers on Capricorn. Y'all take what resonates and leave the rest that does not on the eye of Ra. All right, don't try to force it. Uh, if it doesn't fit, it's just simply not yours. It's for somebody else's, okay? You can catch me tomorrow on live, okay? I will be doing a live angel number, uh, donations for question and answers on for $8.88, and Tesla numbers $9.63 tomorrow on my YouTube channel and Friday on the clubhouse uh, for angel numbers and uh, Tesla numbers as well. Okay, so y'all, and then both of those at 6 p.m. Central time, okay? So thank y'all, appreciate y'all love and support out there. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok at Kim Arts Tarot. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, whoa, the 10 of Pentacles, a long-term commitment is coming in there. A solid offer, some finances. Uh oh, we got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Sword. Okay, somebody is finally getting their stability that they deserve. They're feeling abundant. They're feeling secure. They got more money than they know what to do with. Uh, again, this could be a long-term, stable commitment offer uh, coming in here, or even a job. Oh, ooh, dang, they throwing out. Oh, both ways. This is the Ace of Swords, so y'all got some truth and clarity coming out here. Y'all are taking action, being assertive. Uh-oh, y'all got a thief, huh? So again, Taurus Capricorn, not Taurus Capricorn Virgo, I'm sorry. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo, somebody being sneaky around y'all, trying to find out, again, what y'all got uh, coming in here again. And the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody got some clarity on something. Ooh, ace and ace of uh, wand. The long and the strong. Y'all are going, ooh, the sun card coming out there by the sphinx. We're going to leave that right there. Okay, higher level commitment and marriage for somebody. Somebody do want a long-term commitment. Happily ever after, a house. Somebody's hung up about a decision. A decision. There could be a delay. Or maybe this is the person changing their perception uh, to get that victory. They want that sun card to come out. Maybe they're changing their mind about some action that they're taking, okay? Uh, somebody sneaking around, being slick, trying to find out something. This is an ex, possibly, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Try, uh oh, dark night of the soul. Somebody has made a transformation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but that is Scorpio. So you got the first most powerful card in the deck out, the sun, Leo, and you got the second most powerful card out, which is Scorpio. So somebody's definitely going through a dark night of the soul Okay, uh, rebirth here. That's life, death, and rebirth. Somebody wants to get married, rebirth a uh, relationship, possibly get a new job, rebirth themselves in a new job, uh, bring in balance into the work life and the home life. There's the Ace of Cups. So we've had the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cup, and the Ace of Sword come out. And there's your Knight of Pentacle also coming out. Leo, the Knight of Pentacles showed up in Leo's as well. Y'all could be dealing with a Leo. Dang, and there's Leo card right there. Wow, and the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is the underall card, and the Ten of Pentacles is the overall card. So some there, y'all had all aces come out that been seen. This is the Ace of Pentacles, a fresh new start, something very abundant, successful opportunity coming in there for y'all that's going to level y'all up, okay? This is a relationship. Somebody wants to come in there and get a victory and wants to marry y'all. Y'all could be Taurus, I mean, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo with that Knight of Pentacle. But Capricorn, y'all could be dealing with a fire sign because y'all got double fire right here. And you got Taurus up there and you got Scorpio right here, the opposite of Taurus. So again, definitely somebody is sneaking around trying to gather information to see what's going on. Possibly to come in there, they're holding information back. Y'all got the Queen of Pentacles up here taking action toward a higher level commitment. This Knight of Cups, Mr. Romeo, wants to come in here and offer y'all a long-term commitment. Y'all possibly trying to purchase a house, close on a house, get the victory on a house. But there could be a little bit of delay here or y'all feel like things aren't moving 
as quick as they should, okay? With that six of wands, victory and success. And some of y'all may have victory and success because y'all have finally changed and shifted your perception to being positive here with the sun card. And so the old you is gone and now you got the new you. And because you got the new you, uh, Capricorn, y'all got this new love offer coming in here, this new solid tangible job offer, commitment, raise, uh, a salary raise, something that you enjoy, something that you are appreciative. Uh, this is all about overflow. Okay. So something that provides a lot of overflow, a lot of love. Y'all are being stalked or y'all watching something, uh, keeping an eye on something here. Somebody wants to come in and rebirth and give y'all an offer or a job raise or a promotion. Again, y'all be dealing with a fire sign here. And this does have to do with uh, this new beginning, this new cycle after a hard cycle uh, that y'all have completed here. Yep, stuck up in here like Fred and Frida. So this was a change of a mindset here. This was a dark night of the soul process, a life, death, and rebirth. Yep, somebody want to come in and bring y'all this little fake pagey offer, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Y'all are blocking that offer. Y'all, they're crying over spilled milk. Yep, Libra, balance. So there's definitely could be a court case, could be somebody getting a divorce and something has ended with a divorce and somebody is definitely stuck up in their head about this ending, okay? Uh, this person was not for real. This person was fake. This person was childish. Y'all may have blocked this person and y'all feel like y'all are in a mental prison now. Like, I don't know if this is one person or two people because this kind of feels like it's two different people now. It feels like it was a past energy with that uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, king of, uh, I mean, knight of sword, and now it's feeling like the knight of, what was it, the knight of cups is this other offer here. So this first one could have been more deceptive, lying and cheating. This person was not who they portrayed, portrayed themselves to be. They were page material. They were young, insecure uh, with their emotions. They didn't really mean that cup that they offered up. You guys could have blocked this person. There's Libra. There's balance coming in. So y'all could have Libra in y'all chart, Capricorn. Let's see what else, Spirit. Okay, hot. That uh, Ace of Wands there. Let me see what this one is. Yep, and the page. So somebody's definitely coming in excitement. Some type of romance. Y'all are going to have to make a judgment call going after y'all new beginning heart-to-heart -heart conversation this person broke y'all heart so y'all are definitely uh dealing with being hesitant about this fresh new start being excited but even after a third party situation like i said that was libra y'all make a judgment call okay uh two of cups pisces cancer scorpio mm. somebody's sneaking around Use your intuition. Tap into your spiritual uh, mother with that high priestess. Yep, there's going to be an, another uh, solid offer come in or some valuable information with that page energy that is going to require y'all to take a risk. Could be some type of investment. Could be some type of uh, something that y'all going to be getting wind of to take uh, to take action on it. It's going to require y'all to take the leap of faith uh, in it. There's some balance coming in the situation. Libra jumping out over the ace of wand. There's the information y'all going to be taking a leap of faith in. Trusting your instinct over this two of cups. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. After a breakup, after this page acted prematurely. And now y'all, the universe is testing y'all with another offer. That's the real one. So y'all had a fake one. Okay. Now y'all having to say goodbye, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the people, places, and things. Uh, your emotions that no longer serve y'all. Yep. And get out your head like Fred and Freedom. And move on. Okay. Y'all could be possibly moving, relocating again, or moving. But y'all are definitely stuck up in your head like Fred and Freedom. And you got to shift that perception that you're having. Let's 
see what's going on here. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. Let's see what we got here. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. That was the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles, the Turtle Horse. Some of y'all dealing with an unrequited love. This is a love triangle. The person doesn't even know y'all have a relationship. Y'all just dedicated yourself as a relationship. Uh, you deserve love. You are lovable. Nine of Pentacles, even the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. So for some of y'all, this is going to be an engagement. Yes, it was sticking out. It wanted to come out. That was the night of uh, the night of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and there's the Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with the reconciliation card right there. So some of you guys are definitely going to be doing a reconciliation. There is some codependency, drug addictions here, uh, sex addiction, porn addictions that y'all have to work. Uh, work out addictions are affecting your romantic life could be some workaholic career issues here it's safe for y'all to love right there so again if y'all want this person this relationship to work y'all are going to have to do some work on the emotional physical independent i mean emotional physical and financial codependencies that y'all are having going on or any drug addiction sex addiction porn addictions uh, that y'all may be having. They're going to affect your love life if you don't. You know, you're going to have to get some help. Okay, this could be the one that came out. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And that's free yourself. So there's definitely some codependency issues. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So again, uh, Capricorn, that is y'all reading there for the next two weeks. I will see y'all around the 16th for the other half of the uh, month reading. Okay. Uh, peace, love, and harmony.